Oh, pardon, I can't believe I just set the camera up and burped in your face. Hi guys, oh god, I'm nervous. I've got to be honest with you, I did not film anything yesterday because <laughs> I wasn't feeling too great. Um, yeah, I wasn't down to film. I know that's awful of me, but I still wanted to like do the Vlogmas. And I thought the best way to come back and say sorry is to do a one cut, one shot Q&A. Because uh, I've never done that before and that is really pushing my boundaries because you think I'm weird when I leave my weird bits in. I think <laughs> this is what I do when I don't leave stuff in. Oh no, oh, okay, right, let's just get onto it because I can't speak. So I just thought I was going to do a Q&A today in front of my trees and just speak to you <laughs> without any cuts. Okay, so this is from Grace. Oh wait, do we say names? I don't know if some people don't want their names to be read out. Um, Favourite Christmas song is Driving Home for Christmas by Chris Rhea. <laughs> um, yeah, I just love that song. It reminds me of Gavin and Stacey. And it's just a really nice song. And I always used to think it was sung by, um, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember, sorry. This is like a live show. Awkward. My favorite Christmas film is Home Alone 3. Um, I know, I'm a weirdo. Uh, I obviously love <coughs> Home Alone 1 and 2, but Home Alone 3 has just got a very special place in my heart. I don't know why. I don't know why, I tell Zoe this all the time, and she's like, you are ridiculous. <laughs> Would you ever dye your hair an unnatural color? So unnatural, I'm thinking, I don't know, what is unnatural these days? Um, loads of people rock really crazy hairstyles. Um, I would go blonde again, uh, maybe not as yellow as I was, because I did put a lot on there. I remember when I was just like, people were like, oh my god, your hair's like really blonde, like, have you dyed it? And I used to be like, no, it's just the sun. <laughs> I was embarrassed that I dyed my hair, I was such a, f like, idiot. Like, oh, how times changed. Oh, look at my hand compared to my face. Um, I'm trying to get back out there and reconnect with people. I guess I'm asking for your best advice. I think, oh my God, my advice is so savage. I think the best thing for you to do is just to do it and go out and just speak to friends that you know make you feel comfortable. Um, I think that's the best thing you can do. Like start slowly, don't like jump in face first into a social situation if you're feeling quite anxious. Um, take little steps, baby steps is always the way. Um, and be honest with your friends and obviously you're being honest with yourself because that's the main thing for like when I had my struggles I didn't I denied so much, but I knew what was going on deep down And then when I told my friends and people close to me I was able to be like, okay, this is that and Nine out of ten times your friends if they are really good friends will understand so best of luck thinking of you uh, What are your five tips for a happy and productive week? Love you, by the way. Oh, I love you too. Uh, five tips for a happy and productive, I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm on a time limit. Um, five tips. Ooh, okay. That would be to wake up, uh, have a nice breakfast. Um, just like, just wake up earlier than you should so you have like a nice amount of time to just chill, relax. Like my favorite time is waking up at the crack of dawn where everyone's sort of just like waking up and I'm already awake, I'm having my coffee, I'm watching like this week's TV series that I'm loving or playing my PlayStation. That is my favorite time. So I definitely um, recommend that as well. Oh God, uh, three more. Uh, smile at strangers, but don't do it in a weird way because they may punch you out, especially where I'm from. Um, just make sure you are just nice, be nice to people that serve you in shops. It will make you feel better, like do a good deed, love that. Um, <laughs> oh God, five more tips, uh, two more tips. Just be nice to people, I think, be nice to yourself. Work out, that's quite good. I feel like when I work out, it just sets the endorphins off and I'm just a little bit happier by doing that. Um, oh Jesus, here we go. I'm madly in love with my friend who is super flirty but has a girlfriend of two years. Help, what do I do? You've literally come to the wrong person. I am very, very flirty around everyone. Um, I don't actually get myself into trouble because I can get away with it sort of because I am sort of like, oh, I'm only joking. <laughs> but no, <laughs> um, what am I saying? Uh, 
I think you need to tell that guy that you're in love with, madly, that, so, hey, you have a girlfriend, stop flirting with me, that's not, you're leading me on, it's not fair, if you want to be with me, get rid of the girlfriend in the nicest way possible, but it can't go on like that, minus um, the amount of time you see him, because that really does help, believe me. Good luck. <laughs> Favourite childhood Christmas song of all time? I reckon it was that uh, I wish it could be Christmas every day. That music video is really, really crazy. Um, it's, I, I just imagine like like the really tall Santas like with white long beards and it's just a very crazy music video. And I always remember that and it just makes me so happy. That's my second favourite Christmas song. Um, Who's your favourite out of the days or the Sub family? <laughs> I can't answer that, I don't have a favourite. How would you describe love? Oh, I would describe love as loyalty and trust because if you don't have them two, I can't be around you. I'm so sorry, like, uh, loyalty? Trust and loyalty is my fave. In <laughs> trust and loyalty is my number one thing because if you can't trust someone, what's the point? So, them two. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, really happy, really like um, doing things that I'm working towards now. Like hopefully this Brit Awards stuff will open doors for me. Um, I see myself surrounded by a fit and healthy, positive family and friends. Um, hopefully I'm married. <laughs> no, hopefully I've found someone who can put up with my me and um, just be there for me. Yeah, love family, friends, all happy, all healthy, and my career is still doing okay. Oh no, my battery's flashing. Oh God. Uh, eh, la, la, la. Oh guys, this is not a cut, but I just need to change my battery, is that okay? Oh, my God, hi, I'm back. Oh God. I just had to, I can't believe that happened. I was doing so well. Pummy. Am I back? Hello. I'm drinking a lem sip. Okay, who texted me? Um, oh my god, it's <laughs> so funny. I left my umbrella in a pub last night and my friend picked it up this morning and he's been taking it around London all day with him. So, Alan, if you're watching, you're probably not. But um, <laughs> that's a really funny thing. I'm really enjoying the group chat. Um, country do you, countries you'd move to. New York, hands down, is my favourite place in the world apart from London. It is just so busy and like, it's just full of like amazing, nice people. I love the food. I love the the weather. I just love the high ceilings. I just love so much about New York. It makes me really happy. Um, ooh. Are there any videos you would want to refilm or do differently? Oh, okay, I like that. Um, probably, yeah, because sometimes Zoe linked me to a video today and I look awful. I don't look awful, I just can't believe how much I've changed in such a small amount of time. I need to breathe when I speak. Um, so yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh God, what were you doing with your eyebrows? What were you doing with your hair? Why were you so pale? Like, it was a lot of stuff like that. So it would be nice to relive some of them days where I feel a little bit more confident about how I look, but I don't like begrudge that. I don't know if that's the right word, but I don't know if I um, think that's the main thing because you grow and your confidence grows. So sometimes I wish I looked a little bit better on days where I had really good days and I look back and I'm like, oh, I don't look great, but that's me being really shallow about myself. I'm not a shallow person in the slightest, but I am my own worst critic. Um, and I do realise you're probably going to have to watch me on a slow emotion thing because I talk so fast. I'm so sorry. Um, I would like to refilm some videos, like not and not delete them, of course, because there are some really fun videos that I've filmed in the past, and I'd love to redo them. Um, what makes you so happy? My friends and my family. I said it to my mum today, I was like, no, did I? Yeah, I did. I did say it to my mum. I'm my happiest when I'm with my friends and we're out and we're all together and we're all being crazy. The just, the love and the energy I get from people is just, it's just amazing. And I love being, I'm such a people person. 
I love being surrounded by people and I think that's what makes me so happy that I have great friends and a great family and my dog who's my number one <laughs> How do you manage to be so always so positive about anything, about everything? How do you manage to be so positive about everything? Um, I don't know. I think because in the past I've had a shit time dealing with certain things that you just need to sit back and realise that sometimes people have it far worse than you. And that's what I sort of remember sometimes when I'm being really dramatic. I remember saying, Mark, is this a big deal? Um, just re like, just remind yourself of what you have. But I went through a really shitty time. Like, I had no money, had like no career. I had no idea what I was going to be doing. So I was really down and low. And then, like, obviously there was other things that was going on in my private life that was a little bit like, oh, this is absolutely awful. But um, I think you learn to appreciate what you have, and you just got to live your life as you. Like, you've only got one life. Like you can't alter your personality, or you can, but it won't, at the end of the day, you'll be faking it because you can't have a personality change. I mean, you can change, believe me, you can change for the best or the worst, but in my case, you can change. But um, yeah, I just think, just appreciate what you have, appreciate yourself, pre appreciate what's everything around you, because remember, there's always gonna be people, unfortunately, that have it far off worse than you. So just put that energy into sort of thinking that, if that makes sense. Does that help? I don't know. But that's what I do. Don't get me wrong, I'm not always positive. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm a little bit negative. But it's very, very rare, and then I just slap myself out of it. Um, because it's, deep down it's not me, and it's not how I want to live. Um, but don't get me wrong, it took ages for me to get into this position, if that makes sense. Uh, tips for keeping skin clear. Oh my God, you know me, I love Skincare is my number one thing in the world. Oh, I thought there was a back to that chair. Um, I like, uh, what do I use? D oh God, what do I use? Dermafil? Cetaphil. Cetaphil is a brand, um, white bottle, blue lid um, from Boots. It is so, so amazing. I use that on my skin every day. And I like simple um, brand. Um, one of the washes, it's like micellar water. I can't pronounce it, sorry. Um, something that doesn't have too much crazy stuff in um, and yeah, I just like to keep my skin routine very simple these days um, and I don't watch what I eat these days so I am binging on the sweets and the chocolate but luckily, touch wood, my skin doesn't break out as much but if I go on a heavy bender with like chocolate and pizza, sweets, I will get like an absolute volcano on my face. Um, but yeah, it's important to drink lots of water as well, I drink tons of water. Is this boring? I don't know. Is this okay? Like, what's happening? Um, are you spending Christmas with your family? Yes, I am. I can't wait. I spend it every year with my family. Um, can't wait for Teddy. She gets really crazy around the boxes and presents. Um, I can't wait to just give her a little doggy mince pie and just, like, spend time with my family. Would you get a snake? Um, I would not get a snake. Um, I just think they're better off living their own life away from me. I just don't think we'd get on. Not they're beautiful creatures, but I just don't really like snakes, sorry. <laughs> if there's any snakes watching, <laughs> I'm sure there's a few. But, um, don't judge me. <laughs> oh, bitchy mark has come out. What quality do you like, oh, what quality do you like most about me, about myself? Oh, God. Um, ah, uh, I don't know. I, I think, for me personally, I have a, I, this is gonna be, this is gonna be well big headed, but I feel like I'm quite good at getting people out of bad moods. If that makes sense, like if my friend's feeling a little bit down, I put all my eggs and energy into that basket of trying to make them feel better. Um, I've always done it, I don't know why. There's a quote I saw the other day, really broke my heart, but it's, it's quite true. It's like people who have gone through or feel bad, like, stuff go through bad stuff don't want anyone else to go through that because they know how it feels so they put their energy into helping other people so they don't feel as bad as they feel if that makes sense so i just like helping people making them feel better um 
Are you proud of James? I'm so proud of James. He's just come out of the celebrity get me out of here jungle and he texted in the group chat saying thanks so much for your support, can't wait to see you guys and I was just like, do you know what? He deserved to win. He's a winner in so many people's eyes and I'm so proud of him. He did so well, I can't wait to see him. Okay, couple more. When, you, when, you feel it, when you're feeling down, what do you do to brighten your mood? I see my friends, I um, play my PlayStation, I just have me time, I pamper, I put stuff under my eyes, put stuff on my face, I have, um, I'm lying, I don't have a bath. I just, I like to clean, I really like to clean. I think it helps me so, excuse me, it helps me so much if I'm cleaning my flat when I'm feeling a little bit like, nervous or anxious about stuff. I don't know why, it just takes my mind off it. Where do you want to travel to next? Looking at you, Luke Franks, I would like to go to Miami slash LA, please. Or Bali, Bali, Bali. Are you looking for a girlfriend? Mm, no. <laughs> um, how do you get into the Christmas mood? Invite Zoe over. <laughs> And favourite, uh, last one. Uh, oh, they were, what is your favourite Christmas film? What is my favourite Christmas film? Oh, I've already answered that. Um, oh, no, my God. How are you liking your flat now that you're more settled in? I really like, per, my, if I'm going to be honest with you, if I could move this flat into my old building, that would be the dream. Um, as you know, if you've been watching my vlogmas, I have ha been having quite a few problems with living in my building. Um, but hopefully that will be sorted soon. But my flat, where I'm living, is stunning. I love it. I'm so, oh, every day I wake up and I'm like, Jesus Christ, how could you, how did you get this? Um, so yeah, I obviously thank you for that as well, because without your videos, I'd probably still be living at my family's house. No, without your videos, <laughs> without your support on my videos. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Anyway, I'm going to end this now because I've rambled on for like 20 minutes. And yeah, this was on Cut Mark. I hope you enjoyed him. Um, <laughs> and I will see you. Uh, oh God. Yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. Because I, I was just thinking like, do I have anything fla planned for tomorrow? But I'm going to do a baking video. Um, yeah. Okay. Love you guys. Good night. <laughs>